What's up guys, Duke Sloth here, bringing you an overview and first look of the new guide rider Tosker. I'm going to start up with the ability showcase right away and then keep on commenting. Right, that's all the abilities you got. I'm going to show them a little more throughout the entire gameplay. This is just to give you a first look at them. And uh, here's what, what I'll start with. I'll start with his abilities. So we have Dart, which you just saw first. That's the uh, simple dash here. And uh, Dart allows you to dash into the direction of a target, uh, dealing damage along the way. And if he strikes an enemy guard, he can use dart again. Um, this is basically the same way that Nemesis dash can be used twice, only that this one only triggers if you hit a guard. And it can be reset multiple times by hitting other guards. So it's very good to dash through a team fight. It makes it fairly interesting. Uh, second ability is Flurry of Acorns. As you saw, um, Ratatoska throws these acorns out around him and they charge towards him. What they do is they deal damage to everyone and um, deal more damage on return but apparently they might not be dealing damage on the first uh, activation. It seems like they only uh, deal damage when when returning. I'll try to figure it out in play very soon. And uh, Acorn Blast is a very straightforward ability. It's basically a shotgun of acorns. And this can be upgraded with uh, different uh, nuts. We get into that. And then you got the ultimate through the cosmos. Uh, through the cosmos allows you to jump around on these branches. And uh, if you target over somewhere here, you can just jump again. And uh, you can jump up to three times, but if you right click or you wait too long, uh, it cancels as you jump down to the ground, dealing damage. That's up to fifth. 570 damage, which is quite a lot. Uh, similar to Thor's ability, only that he probably has a little longer range. I'll test that out very soon. And uh, doesn't stun. Uh, this is something interesting to note about his kit in general. He has a lot of mobility with his ultimate and dart. He's just dashing around constantly, basically. But he doesn't have a built-in stun. The only way he can get a stun is with the Topaz. Um, you've got the different uh, nuts for the upgrades uh, that give him different things that he doesn't have. He can get AOE damage, but he has some of that, so I don't really see the point in that one, to be honest, so far. He's, he can get a stun, he can get a slow, um, or a damage buff, depending on which acorn he takes. Uh, he can get a heal, and uh, he can get a kind of sticky bomb mechanic to his acorn blast. Uh, we get go through them as of now. Here you see the acorns. You get the basic acorn from the start, and then you can just build into the other ones. You can build into uh, blue acorn first, which uh, allows you to slow enemies, or you can build into the yellow acorn, which allows you to deal more damage with uh, flurry of acorns. And then you've got acorn blast being uh, upgraded so that it creates kind of a sticky bomb and you get some penetration or you can heal Ratatosker with it. Um, the heal is not that high if you read the raw number here but you have to keep in mind that it is a uh, heal per acorn so um, it's up to four acorns each healing for 60 which ends up being uh, 120 times 2 <laughs> 240 um, and uh, scales with Felica power a little bit, not much, but a little bit. Um, and then you have through the cosmos, which I already got into, and here you got the last acorn, which uh, gives some lightning bolt damage. Thing is, I feel like 25% uh, cooldown reduction is a ton, and uh, 15 physical penetration doesn't quite cut that on the same level so far. 
Uh, you got the slow, which is nice, which you don't get here, and you have less CC. But he's so mobile that I'm not sure if you will need the slow. So uh, I will personally probably go for Topaz in uh, team utility situations. Um, I don't see the lightning bolt benefit too much. Um, the other one, I'd say, if if you uh, if you need boxing, Emerald could be cool just to heal up a little bit, but the heal doesn't seem that much. Um, the explosion is nice. And I kind of have to figure out how well that works. But for now, I'm going to go with the Topaz. Interesting thing to note. He should not get Jotun's Wrath if you get one of these acorns. He's got 25% cooldown reduction. As you can see, uh, the cap is at 40%. And you would waste 10% cooldown reduction if you went for Jotun's. The good thing is, he can just go for Titan's Bane straight up. You, or you could go, if you want the flat pen, you can go for Brawlers or Crusher. Uh, that is if you build him as an assassin, which I'm just going to do now. I'm just going to uh, build a standard ability-based assassin build for now. Uh, act like we're like a few minutes into the game. Um, maybe wait that... No, no I'm not going to wait that. And um, see how well I do in, in chases. This is only a bot game, unfortunately, but uh, I can't be bothered waiting until I get him in an actual game. So uh, I'll just gonna see and, and try out how well I can do here. Um, I'm not going to play it through the whole game, I just want to show you the basic mechanics and what you can do with them. I saw two enemies here, so... Um, actually, there are two on mid, I'm just going to ult there, and I should be able to jump there pretty easy. Um, okay, apparently you can't just jump anywhere. I can dash the one, death through two. Okay, now I stunned him, I got the same one twice. Okay, they dodged that pretty well. As you can see the shotgun doing a, a fair amount of damage here. There you see the acorns, that's, that's how you're supposed to do it. You basically try and uh, pull the acorns with you as you dash through the enemy. I actually struggling quite a lot here because um, I'm way under level now. <laughs> and uh, we can see how, how well his jungle farm works. Got the three shot. Wow, that was quick. That's an extremely high amount of damage he deals there. Uh, much more than I expected actually. Okay, they already deal damage when going out. Different from what uh, the description says or sounds like. Got this interesting uh, attack mechanic. Could show you some of the voice pack as well. Yeah, they definitely deal damage twice, which is uh, interesting at least. Um, what what more is there to say? <laughs> He's a bit annoying while in, in combat. And now we're just gonna go for Titan's Bane, and that should be enough for a decent build. Um, ult is up again fairly quick. Cooldown, max cooldown is, uh, I think, 90 seconds. So with CDR it goes pretty well. Uh, let's see if we can get, like, a ve go a very far distance. Um, I would probably uh, go for his his three first in most situations from what it looks like now. Simply because the uh, two is very unreliable and it depends on your one in order to hit for the full damage. And if you hit all four acorns, um, the raw damage is just insane. It's uh, 120 on the first level and it just scales up ridiculously. And it probably has the best scaling as well. Yeah, it does. Uh, I'm, that might actually be toned down because the scaling is heavy. I'll just see. Okay. Well, I can't get to to mid lane from there, which is interesting. Uh, so you basically have to. Uh, no, I didn't mean mid lane. Uh, you basically have to play the same way you would play Thor. Right? That was too early. Here we go. And I can just dash again. Um, he is fairly squishy, as what it is. Um, but the thing is, uh, as for he doesn't have to build Jotuns. Uh, shifters could probably be fine on him as well, uh, making up for that, giving him some extra defenses. That takes some time to get used to. But now I can dash again, and... Okay, I can only dash once to the same target. <laughs> How? I just died, died to a bot. Um, whatever. So I'd, I'd recommend getting some defense on him from what it looks like. I would say he's probably uh, viable in at least... Um, jungle and solo to some extent because uh, his 
two would help him clear in, in, in solo immensely and uh, that's just something you want to make as much use as possible of. Um, let's see if we can actually pull this old off for once. Okay, you can't really jump wherever you want, which kind of sucks, but that was easy. Um, he's, he's able to be there fairly quick. Um, as for leveling his 2 or 1 first, I'm not quite sure to be honest. I'd probably level the 1 first, even though it is his escape, but um, you always need the setup of the 1 to get a decent damage out of your 2 anyways. So I don't see the uh, benefit of leveling his 2 first to be honest. Uh, I can see if I can actually deal enough damage to them, but no I can't. They're very tanky on mid here. Interesting comp with a double tank on mid. <laughs> But uh, that's bots for you. Um, C M more CDR could also be helpful on him. I could see something like uh, Spirit Rope work because it gives him some extra defenses. And uh, it also allows him to um, just uh, get back out there and get his ult up fairly quick. So uh, I'll just go ahead and... Well, I wanted to finish my shifters, but... If you, if you get shifters and Spirit Rope... Um, you have defenses like uh, that are a lot more than what this guy looks like. I say, the area of his um, of his old is extremely large. It's very hard to miss. I'd say. And here we go. Um, I can see the slow making some sense. Uh, the more I think of it. Because Flurry of Acorns, which if I recall correctly is his 2, um, relies on, on your movement. And uh, if, you, if you're too slow to get there, uh, it's basically not worth it. But if the enemy is slowed, it's easier to go behind him and uh, hit more Acorns on him. So uh, yeah, I, I can't uh, see a point in it, so to speak. Um, I need... So you want to you wanna just use the dash at the very, very last uh, moment, I'd say, so you can uh, have the uh, acorns in a, a, a centered as possible, so to speak. His jungle clear is, is insane. I, I don't think... I'm not even sure if he needs a hog, to be honest. He's got two AoE abilities. I mean, sure, a jungle needs hog, but theoretically, um, if it wasn't for, for, uh, for steals and stuff, he wouldn't even need it. Oh, thanks, Eric. Thanks for pushing him away. That was a great idea. <laughs> so you can also uh, utilize this. You can... Oh, wow. You can dash through somebody else in order to get to another target. Unfortunately, this didn't work for me this time. But <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> He's got funny voice lines, at least. Um, what, what else has he got to say? Wow. That's rude. Um... He's fairly cocky, as you can tell. Nice job. Uh, <laughs> Hard to find good help these days. <laughs> you are welcome. Bye. Wow, I never an Did I actually trigger? Oh wow, I actually triggered. It's really easy to trigger. Um, it surprises me, but uh, the dash kind of just needs to hit the enemy slightly in order to trigger. Not what I expected, to be honest. Oh, Herc. He's helping them again. Um, I feel like uh, he could struggle with sustain if you don't get the heal. Okay, I'll see again if I can get a decent jump from over here. Okay, yeah, I can just basically jump here, jump here, get halfway over across the lane. That's a lot better than um, what it was on the other side. Or what it was from the mid camps. I probably just misplaced them a little. Uh, I can s check if I can get like easy, an easy kill on, on Ra here. Can't. Thought it might be worth a try. Um, <laughs> I died twice in a, in a bot game. Well, uh, whatever. Uh, I 
probably work him up to, to full build and see if I can get some more interesting input there. Uh, Hydra's Lament could actually be decent enough on him. Um, simply for the fact that he has so many abilities that he can just use quite often. His, his cooldowns are fairly low, the longest one being Dart. And uh, Dart having a reset whenever you hit an enemy. So he can just spam abilities and hit in between and get the Hydra's proc. Uh, would have been better with the old Hydra's, not so sure if it's still worth with the new. In most situations, very, very situational item. Um, I could also see him uh, work with some attack speed, uh, similar to a Willish. Um, just, just because it always helps at a certain point when you get pen and uh, a lot of damage. But I don't think he utilizes this as well as other characters do. Okay, so if an enemy stays in a spot, he is punished pretty hard for um, for taking the flurry of icons, as you can see here. Um, his, his dash is just nasty. It's just incredibly nasty because you can move around so much and it's so hard to, to hit. Um, his hit chain seems to have an AoE in it. I'm just going to check that again. Two, three, four. Yep, it has an AoE in it. Uh, also always very nice to have that extra AoE damage. Um, we can have a look at his recommended items as well because that could be interesting. Well, Sapphire Akon... Uh, I don't know why they would recommend that over any other, but uh, I guess it's just because they had to put one in there. Trends could make sense depending on the scalings. Uh, the scaling on his um, on his three just feels like it's too much, to be honest. If that's per shot, then he has 170 damage per acorn. I'm just gonna see if that's actually correct because this is not even a full build. That would just be uh, a little too much. I need need for that because she's less tanky. Um, just gonna see if I can casually walk over there. Um. Yep. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see how much damage we actually get out of this. Neath, can you bear with me for a second? Can you please wait? Uh, yeah, it does scale for every single of those abilities. And that is that is a lot of damage there. So um I'm not sure. I'm not sure how this will like I, I could see that being a mistake with the scaling and this scaling just being intended to be uh, that much in total. But I'm not sure. Otherwise his damage is just through the roof. And um if that if that's the correct amount of scaling, then uh, trends will be completely worth it on him every damn time. We'll probably get it as a, yes third item then, even before pen, because the scalings are ridiculous. Um, I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. Um, what else have we got? Witchblade. Uh, I guess could work. He doesn't really profit too much from from attack speed. So I'd probably go for RC instead and just get some more sustain in. Um, whatever works. And now I stun both. Okay, you can actually stun both enemies you hit before at the same time. It's just uh, fun. Um, I like, then again, the uh, defense kind of takes the damage down. Okay, what else? Bulwark of Hope. I wouldn't say that's so good on him, because uh, he's not a tank and uh, he utilizes semi-tanky items like uh, like Shifter's Shield or um, a Spirit Rope a lot better with the cooldown reduction that's added in. Um, so I, I wouldn't go for raw defense. Not? <laughs> um, we can just go full, full build and see what else is going to happen. Greater pur purification, always good for the gods, standard on any jungler. If it's um, we got greater agus, sure, why not, if you don't build into that much defense. Um, you could probably go Crusher at some point as well, for some extra pen, if Titan's Bane is not enough to you anymore. You could also skip the Titan's Bane and go Executioner if you really want that little bit of attack speed. Um, I would like to see his chain. I would like to actually see the numbers on his chain. Um, 
what I will do is just hit these 300, 150, 150, 300. Okay, so it must be something. It's like the full scaling. Um, like 1, 05, 05, 1, and that last one is as AoE damage though. Um, pretty good. If it's 2 times 05, that means that he could probably make use of something like Chin Sai as well. Um, but well, we're at the point where they can't even remotely box me anymore. Um, I think it's gonna be, he's gonna, he's gonna need some damage, because that is just ridiculous he's done. Yeah, I used, um, oh, I can use the same dash right away, um, just to stun him. So I really, I really like that Acorn, I think stuns are always a good thing. At the same time, keep in mind that he has a lot of mobility already. And, um, what I could check is, if, yes. The Opal damage bonus also scales. It scales even higher than the uh, actual dart damage. Um, meaning that uh, this might actually be a better choice in many situations uh, if you don't need the stun that bad. I mean, CC is always great, but then again, at the same time, uh, some characters just don't need it that much. And um, in that case, uh, the, the Opal uh, allows you to give Dead. I still have the cooldown reaction and hand out a lot more damage still. Um, I think I think uh, there's going to be a lot of experimenting with these uh, acorns, which is fine. And I think there will be situations for, for most of them. Um, but uh, in the end, I'm still a fan of, of cooldown reduction. I don't think that uh, the pen is that necessary. Also because it allows you to not get Jotuns, which is just great. Because I don't like being forced to get Jotuns. Um, I'm kind of irritated as to who gets the mark from the dash. Um, I can't really tell. So... Uh, I'll try to figure that out. Whoops. Um... But yeah, I think uh, this cuts most of what I, I wanted to show you about this guy. And uh, I'm very excited to see him in the actual game. I think the developers did an excellent job on him. Even though he takes a lot of inspiration from other games, uh, most notably League of Legends. Um, he still got a very decent, interesting kit out of that. Um, just to finish this off, I'm gonna see how good his chain works on towers. And that's pretty good with the uh, pressure. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, hope to see you guys next time. And we'll finish this with a glorious jump onto this place. Thanks for watching. Duke's Loth, out.